people so today is I don't really know which day I lost track of time and I'm about to go outside and run some errands my plan is to go to the mall to the Casimiro's Galleria and then just run some errands and I really have a sweet tooth today so I think I might stop by the shop just to get myself one donut just one one only we'll try to make it happen okay um and then after that what else oh, oh, oh great news i love every time i start talking you have to start like really anyways let's find another spot to talk it's not gonna work it's a bit dark in here there's so many mirrors in this house what else so yes yeah, so what i wanted to say is I really love this place so much that I chose to stay here. I chose to cancel my trip to Hungary, which was next. Budapest was next. And I will be staying the extra week here in Budapest. To be precise, it's mostly gonna be um, in Casimierz because I really, really love this place. And that's it. I'm just gonna be living life and going on as if I was, you know, back home. I really need some routine right now, so I don't mind um, that I chose to do that. The only, the only thing is, I wish I had bought more clothes because I'm really tired of wearing the same outfit. I try to do like a different style with it. I'm looking like those aristocratic french portrait you see <laughs> at the art museum but anyways i'm trying to get creative with my outfits um that's it there's really nothing to say i didn't bring a lot of clothes and you know what the worst thing is that i didn't expect to i don't know what i was thinking about i just i could have done so much better usually i wear when i know i'm gonna re-wear re an outfit a lot i tend to wear bring neutral colors like black beige and things like that this time I just went totally crazy took a, because I have so many pictures and videos with the same uniform in my black outfit I was like I'm gonna go with something totally different but I didn't really fully realize that and I put like a bunch of light colors like purple and the worst shoes I could have gotten orange and bright purple in case you're wondering what outfit I'm talking about that's the outfit of the day more like the outfit of the week the outfit of the month here in cacao actually here and to be fair i had changed these pens i had another green pants that i was wearing which is not better actually i'm still looking like a clown like tons and tons and tons of colors anyways so right now these shoes are so comfortable but i just wish they were black oh anyways and it's quite serious because i'm actually gonna have to go to auschwitz looking like that and i'm like uh my god i really wanted to go there dressed all in black but anyways, that's going to be a story for another time. And right now I have to get going because I'm trying to leave the house before it gets too dark. It's one something and it gets dark. It's still daylight. See, I haven't been opening the blinds because there's people working right in front of the house. I don't want to give them a show, you know what I mean? So anyways, all right, let's get going, guys. No time wasted. We're differencing a different part of the city cacao because today is actually the first day that i've gotten outside without being part of a walking tour like having them direct exactly where you go and just getting lost in the city today just feels like it just feels like any other city it's so weird and there's that place that kind of really reminds me of back home so that's kind of like really interesting it's just very different but it gets so crowded at some point super super crowded okay so i really hate when the gps does that i'm trying to get to the mall which is like come on and they're just like bringing me to the wrong place there's like no one i'm the only tourist walking here and i'm like what the hell you can see it's just like a general city it's a general street like there's nothing going on here if it was nighttime, I would have been really creeped out. Next time, I will follow the crowd. Always follow the crowd over your GPS when in doubt. Always. Okay, so it's finally there, which is actually right around the corner. So that's what the mall looks like. It's quite big and very super cute, I find. I don't know, it's just something, maybe it's just the design of this old school looking building in the middle. And then of course it's just in the middle of 
regular corner and nothing particularly special about it and then here you could actually see like the usual H&M etc etc of course you can't do anything without McDonald's and that's really it guys so I'm just gonna go and do my run my errands now one thing I always find funny is that local people, I wonder sometimes what local people think. They're like, oh my god, it's just a mall, why are you recording this? I think it's because a lot of mistakes that tourists do, and I'm guilty of it too, is when you go to a place, especially a place that's a bit older or a place that you find super exotic, you kind of, in your mind, even if you know it's not the case, but it's kind of as if your mind thinks the city is just a prop city like you know what I mean like a fake city which is exactly supposed to be how you plan it in your mind the people are supposed to be friendly always smiling and you're supposed to learn tons of things and things are supposed to be frozen in in time or in the period for example here I'm very interested into communist era and pretty much pretty much the communist era a little bit of World War II but mostly like that era and then a lot of time when I travel to those Eastern and Central Europe countries I find myself being like constantly looking for community things and I have to remind myself all right Steph you know like these are real people who went through like a real hard time and it's not I'm kind of like making this place and turning it into like a super exotic parade kind of the same way how some people do for me like being black so it goes both ways it's kind of like really interesting but I just wanted to touch on that because I don't know I'm thinking to myself this is just a mall why am I recording this but you know what I mean but it's just because I don't expect to see a mother and that's gonna sound so stupid but it's just walking through Jewish cacao and the old and all of the stuff related to World War two World War one makes sense but the second I I kind of see signs of globalization and modernization modernization like McDonald's I always get like a reverse cultural shock make sense any one of you guys also guilty of this at least I'm aware that of it and I can call myself out and adjust my expectations anyone else can relate to what I'm saying just leave me a comment and now it's time for me to go and do some shopping so I think I was really shocked to find a mall in Kazimierz I think that's what it is actually if it was the rest of cacao I would have have I wouldn't have had any reaction but it's it's kind of weird to me and fun mind-blowing you know with all of the history I've been consuming in this place and everything felt like it was always evolving around the sad history of you know Jewish Poland specifically the um, Kazimierz area so now being able to just have a mall and then seeing people going on about the daily basis is just like I don't know I don't know I know I'm not making any sense right now so let's compare the prices I felt so good coming here it reminds me of going to the pharmacy back home and I think the prices are about the same and those international stuff Okay, so what do we need? Yeah, they're about the same prices as back home. Look at that smell, that pharmacy smell. Mm. Okay, let's see tampon. Definitely, that's how I know the prices are the same. Sorry guys, I'm getting quite creepy right now. Okay, what did I come here to get? Oh my god, they also have curl formers. Where are my black girls at? I thought it was only black girl who used that. Oh my god, there's like a black girl on the picture. Oh. Another thing I'm always guilty of, I always forget to say hi in Polish. I always go like, hi. I did learn how to say it. I don't know how to pronounce it. Excuse me. Hi. Is it? Can you tell me how to say hi in Polish? Is it Dzień dobry? Uh, how do you say it? Dzień dobry. Dzień dobry. Dzień dobry. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. So, 
I need to remember to say that more because I find it so rude going on to people and just being like in English, you know? I don't know this makeup brand. I think that says a lot of things when you can be all the way here and still find your cocoa milk. But I'm not gonna be stereotypical and that I'm gonna go with this. I'm feeling super adventurous.